Yo, what goes on guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today, we're finally going to be taking a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time, which we all know is the best Turtles movie ever, right? Right? Turtles in Time, NECA, San Diego Comic Con, what was, what is it, 2023 exclusive, longest ass title ever, figures, right? There we go. So... Um, sorry I'm such a sloppy introduction, but I just am very excited to show you guys the new setup. I got a new ring light. What I'm doing now is doing like a little light at the bottom here. It's green for the turtles, right? Uh, a little bit of a purple background. I know Unparalleled Universe has a purple background, but it's also my favorite color. And honestly, I don't really know what other color that I would want to do it with. And then... You know, so there's going to be a couple changes coming up. I probably have posted a video prior to this one saying those changes, but this is actually the first review I'm doing in this format, and what better way to start than with the turtles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this box here. It's very huge. It's like the large VHS-style box. You flip this boy over, you get all this cool artwork, read-up kind of stuff. Um, you know, you can kind of take a look at that over there. Some nice ass people who made this stuff for us. And then both sides are the same. You just get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. But yeah, I'm very excited to finally get this open. I've had this for like a week and a half now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. So, getting the brothers out of the packaging. I gotta say, these are pretty damn awesome. So, obviously, when it comes to NECA, they're not gonna pose as well as you'd probably want them to, but then again, these guys really don't do much in these costumes anyway. Um, it's been so long since I've seen the movie, a couple years at this point, but, you know, I don't really remember them doing much in these costumes, but they just are so iconic in probably all the wrong ways, but I love that about them, and that's what makes me really enjoy these figures. So, for the most part, they are going to be exactly identical, uh, albeit Leo. He's got a couple different modifications for him, obviously, for his weapons and things like that. So, we'll start with him, and then I'll show you one of the other brothers, and then we'll just kind of go from there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Leo starting off. Leo's looking real nice, I have to say. I really like this head sculpt. I mean, I love all the head sculpts. I kind of like that dopey look that they gave Leonardo. I think it really works for him in this instance. The back of the samurai helmet, I don't remember what this thing is called. You know what, I'm not even going to say the word remember. I have no idea what it's called, but the samurai helmet looks awesome. These do clip off, but I will say... It is a little bit difficult to get them back on, so just keep that in mind. What I usually tend to do is line it up with the part, of, like the tie of the bandana, push their heads down, and then kind of try to clip it on there. It's not the best, and it will take like getting it right in the right spot, but I, I'd rather it be that way than not. You do get a little blue on the like a wash on the blue for the bandana and then look at all this detail that they punched in there because yes this was an expensive set but i totally think that it's worth the money you can see a little bit of the carapace back there all this print work is really really nice on the skirt i don't really know what it's called the overlays the armor looks great with these pelvis panel things and then you even get all these buttons and all those rivets and stuff punched in there there's a wash everywhere i will say he does feel a little bit like an older NECA figure in the sense of he was a little stiff when i got him out of the box but you know, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. The shin pads look great, and then you get those turtle toes and turtle fingers looking pretty awesome. So, Leo, as I mentioned, does have a little bit of a difference in the sense of he's got his katanas on the back, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Well, I guess the sheaths on the back for his katanas. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on as well. As far as the other three brothers, they're pretty much all exactly identical apart from the head sculpt. So, we'll go ahead and start with the homie Michelangelo. He's looking really good. I love those big, stupid teeth. You can obviously tell that these are from the movie, which makes me very happy because NECA always goes the extra mile when it comes to details like this, and this is no excuse. And as you can see, it is a little bit different from Leonardo's in the sense of there's no peg and carapace. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. So anything I said about Leo, bring it over here to Michelangelo and Raphael. Now, Raphael is also looking very good. 
I really do like the they gave him the closed mouth, which isn't super common for Raph. Usually he's screaming or something. He had a really nice wash in the headbands, and it just, yeah, I really like the way that he looks as well. So very well done, but finally you get the best brother, Donnie. I'm loving the way that he looks as well. He's looking all stupid and happy, even though he's supposed to be a genius, right? We'll talk about that in a little bit. He's got a little bit of a smudge on his face, but honestly, I'm really liking the way that Donnie is looking as well. Now, while I do think the brothers look great, I have to say this set really stands out in accessories. Starting off, you do get extra head sculpts for the previous turtles, which is pretty awesome. So these can go on the first ones. You get Angry Donnie. You get Angry Mikey. Looking great. You get extra Angry Raph, which I think works perfect for him. And then you get Angry Leo, which probably is my favorite because it looks so unique. I mean, look at the progression from the first movie to the third one this looks so much better in my opinion i don't know he looks more like a frog but maybe that's just me but yeah i think these extra additions of these head sculpts are a really nice touch now you are also going to get four identical or almost identical robes with a nice bendy wire that wraps around them so leo is the only one with a different one and his is a little tricky to get on and off as you can see it has these holes cut in there and the idea is to slip it through the top and bottom of the sheaths, which isn't my favorite system, but I'm going to be honest, you don't really need to do it. Like, it's nice that they went the extra mile, but honestly, if you can get them through the top, I found that that's pretty much enough. So once you get that through, you kind of lift the head up, tuck it under there, wrap it. I tend to put it under the bandana as so and then boom it's on there and it looks pretty good i mean like i said you can go the extra mile and it's not awful in getting these in here but getting them on and off can be kind of a pain and a little bit cumbersome especially like i don't even know if i'm doing it right so take what i'm saying with a grain of salt but yeah i really like the way that that looks with them on there and like i said you can kind of um use the wire to bend it up and honestly i'll probably wind up just leaving this on leo and the rest of the turtles because one i don't want to store the accessories and two i just think it adds another layer to these and really makes them unique on the shelf especially for the turtles so like i said they will all come with this next up of course it wouldn't be a turtle set without their iconic weapons now you are going to get leo's katana you get two of those, of course, and they look fantastic, and you can hold them or put them in the sheaths. But speaking of swords, you do also get two additional swords, which I think are really cool. I actually might have Leo hold these, just as like a nuance, like another layer of difference. I really like the silver paint, and the halberds look good, and the guards, very, very cool. I like the way that they look as well. You are going to get Raphael's Psy. They look very, very good. They are painted and sculpted very nicely. Then you are going to get Michelangelo's Chucks. Now, these aren't like necessarily a bendy wire, but they kind of will hold a pose. I don't know. Kind of wish that they would just put a little bit of a wire in there, but nothing crazy there. And then, of course, you get the main man, Donatello's bow staff and I love the way they painted that on there I think that's a new sculpt you are going to get a bevy of hands including you'll get a pair of open hands a pair of gripping hands additional smaller c grip hands then you will get a pair of fist hands which I do really like that and you will get a pair of one open hand, like super splayed out open hand, and then one of like a kind of relaxed hand, and then a pointer finger hand. So really good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You get a full set of pointer finger hands and relaxed hands. I would have liked the full set of the open splayed out hands unless I'm missing it or I lost it already. But yeah. I think that this looks really nice. And then probably my favorite accessories are the ones that are specific to the turtles in this movie. You do get their face bands. Now, all of these are the same sculpt, I believe, but I think the mustaches are slightly different colors or the goatees or Fu Min Chao mustaches, I believe that's what that's called. But these look 
Very, very cool. There's a brown one, a purple one, which I'm going to give to Donnie. This one's kind of a really, really dark blue, so I'll give that one to Leo. And then this one's kind of like a dark orangey light brown, so this one will probably go to Mikey. Um, I'm sure that in the movie, Neko always gets the details right. I'm sure that there's a specific one. I'm willing to bet that the ones that I guessed are correct. But like I said, this one's going to go on Mikey. So what you're going to want to do, pop off the helmet and then kind of slide this over and it'll go over the bandana at least that's how i've been doing it and you can kind of position it with their masks or with the masks showing their teeth got it tilted the right way and then you can pop the helmet back on the turtle like i said sometimes the helmet's a little hard and that looks great i mean like I go back and forth on whether or not I want to display them with these because, again, it adds another layer of differentiation to the turtles. But also, like, if I was to look at this not knowing anything about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I would not say that this is a turtle. Especially, like, if you, like, cover the feet and the hands. that Like, that doesn't look like a turtle at all. I mean, you can barely see the shell, which, that's the look. NECA nailed it. It is not NECA's fault at all. But sometimes I just, I don't know, I go back and forth on if I like it or not. But I think the best accessories within the set are the staff, the time staffs. So you do get the complete new one. Looks very cool. The plastic looks very good. You get the uh, Chinese writing on there. Then you get the broken one that caused them all their issues, right? That is pretty awesome. And then the last one is the one that Donatello made himself. The homemade one, which is pretty awesome. So they can hold these pretty well. I'm probably going to have Donnie hold one of these uh, in addition to his bow staff. I love getting unique accessories like this. So these are pretty damn awesome. Speaking of Donnie, let's use him to show off the articulation. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, let's just say you're not going to be buying these for the articulation. The head with the helmet on is really only going to do that. It'll rotate, pivot side to side a little bit. But honestly, with that helmet and all the armor on there. I think that that's perfectly acceptable for something like this. The shoulders will go up all, uh, just about T. They do have a butterfly joint, which I don't think I've ever seen that on a NECA figure. That's a new one for me. So that's pretty cool. They'll go down, they'll rotate all the way. He gets a single jointed elbow that gets a little past 90 and then all the wrists swivel and hinge horizontally. The torso is essentially just going to be a swivel. There's a little bit of play in there, but it's really not going to do much in terms of arc and crunch and pivot, all that stuff. Hips are a little bit different than usual NECA figures as well. They're going to go out that far, so you can get full splits. They'll kick down. Going forward, he's really not going to do much. That's pretty much all you're going to get going forward. And then a pretty ugly single-jointed knee, which is a little surprising for NECA, but a um, little less than 90 Again, I'm not really upset about that. I'm more upset that, like, that looks pretty bad. I'm not really liking the way that that looks. And then the ankle goes up, down, and pivot, but it's really tight on Donatello. So, yeah, maybe heat these up before you get started. And again, the articulation, I know, is nothing crazy. But then again, it wasn't really what they were going for. And honestly, you should kind of expect that with NECA figures these days. And people are always like, well, it's an action figure. And I'm like, yeah, but, I mean... I think I always think it's about the balance of, you know, figure to paint to articulation and all that good stuff. And um, I think NECA sacrifices some things to make their figures a little bit better in other regards. And these are a really good example of that. So I'm not complaining at all. Here they are next to the Jazz Wars Fortnite series Peely and the NECA King Kong. Here they are next to the Mar Hasbro Marvel Legends Darwin and the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman from Dark Knight Returns. And then, of course, here they are next to my Marvel Legends zombie Captain America. So I think that they scale, especially considering they're a seven inch scale figure line. So this definitely works here for me. So at this point, you must be wondering, yo, Ann, what are your thoughts on these figures? And I gotta say that I'm very happy that I was able to get my hands on them. I think that they turned out great in terms of aesthetic and accessories. While articulation is lacking, the other two categories really do make up for a plus. 
I never thought that we'd get a samurai set of turtles like this. This is awesome. I love the throwback to the vintage figure of Leonardo, which again isn't something that I'm super into in terms of vintage stuff, but I really do like it and I think that NECA absolutely killed it on these guys. I will say it was a pricey box at 150 bucks plus shipping, so it came to about 175 total. But even at that price, I'm going to go ahead and give these guys an 8 out of 10. More articulation would have been nice. But other than that, I think they're pretty damn good. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there, and I have a lot of fun. And I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me. So DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.